Hey, 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 YouTube, what's going on? It's Richard, founder of Short Term Rental University and Airbnb Superhost. Today, my girlfriend, the mermaid, and I were coming to you live from Norfolk, Virginia. And what I want to talk about is the thing I learned about listing my property in Jackson Hole and how important it is to check in multiple times and then ultimately click the preview button as if you were a guest. So if you've been following me on the channel for a while, you know I just moved to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I did a renovation and I just moved into my place. And consequently, I listed my property for rent on Airbnb and HomeAway. I wanna talk about Airbnb in the process particularly because I found it really interesting. The onboarding when you go to list your property is super helpful and it's pretty quick. And so you think you're complete. But what I found was there was all sorts of things that I know about because I'm a super host and I've been doing it for a while with multiple properties that it doesn't prompt you for. Really important things like a cleaning fee and do you want to charge more for extra people and things that are all like revenue driven and really important to you and your business, but not so important to Airbnb. They just want it booked and not so important to guests like it's actually in their favor. But as the host, these are things that are really important. So make sure that you go through the onboarding, use it. It's really clean. It's really simple and then go back in and check your listing. And then you'll find all sorts of tabs and opportunities to refine and update and include fees and service charges and so on that are really important to you. And so what I found was logging in multiple times over a series of a few days or even 10 days or so was really helpful. My listing got better and better and better with more and more specification to the way that I want to host. At the very top of your listing, there's a little button. It looks like an eyeball and it says preview. And the point of that button is you are now previewing your listing like somebody looking to book your place would be seeing it. And it's so in that vein, in those eyes, you should be checking it out. And what I found was it really helps me understand what other people are seeing, the order of the pictures, the captions at the bottom of the pictures, the story, the description. And when you look at it that way, as opposed to the interface that they provide for the listing itself, now you're looking at it not as a host, but as a guest, it really changes and there's a lot of room for improvement. And so go ahead and make those micro changes because the more time and energy you spent on your listing, the better it's gonna read, the more appeal it's gonna have, the more accurate it's gonna be, the less surprises or surcharges that people are gonna be upset about, and ultimately, the better for your business on a go forward basis. One more thing, recognize that Airbnb is constantly improving their user interface and their guest experience, and they're adding new tabs and new themes and new ways that they sort and rank. So you wanna be checking in on your listing all the time and making sure that you're taking advantage of the newest, greatest thing that Airbnb has uh, revealed to you. So, what opportunities have you found when you've gone through Airbnb multiple times? What buttons, what clicks, what opportunities would you like to share with the community? I'd really appreciate it. Please go ahead and like the video. I really have to get out of the sun. I'm like dying here. But wanted to share that with you because I just did it real time. Subscribe. Okay.